Welcome to our channel, Love Ireland. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification. Today we explore the question. Is Glendalough worth seeing? It really is. Even if you are not interested in monastic and religious sites, Glendalough is definitely worth a visit for its nature, stunning views and location. It's just the perfect escape from the city, one of the best ways to experience the best of Ireland and soak up its atmosphere. Here are some great reasons why Glendalock is worth seeing. Heritage, history, beautiful nature and hiking. Glendalock is a glacial valley in County Wicklow, Ireland, famous for its early medieval monastic settlement. It was built in the 6th century by St. Kevin. From 1825 to 1957 there was a Galliner lead mine at the end of the Glendalock Valley. Glendalock is also a recreational area for picnicking, walking on manicured trails of varying difficulty as well as rock climbing. The gateway to the monastic city of Glendalock is one of Ireland's most important monuments and is unique today. It was originally two stories with two beautiful granite arches. The projecting walls at each end suggest it had a wooden roof. In the front door, on the west wall, there is a stone with a cross engraved on it. This denotes the sanctuary, the boundary of the sanctuary realm. The paving of the street in the monastery town is still partially preserved, but there are only very few remains of the enclosing wall. The beautiful round tower of granite interspersed mica schist is about 30 meters high and has an entrance 3.5 meters from the base. In 1876, the conical roof was rebuilt using the original stones. The tower originally had six wooden floors connected by stairs. The four floors above the entry level are lit by a small window, while the upper floor has four windows overlooking the cardinal points. The circular towers, landmarks for approaching visitors, were built as bell towers, but sometimes also served as camp and shelter from attack. This stone roof of St. Kevin's Church originally had only one nave, with an entrance on the west side and a small arched window on the east gable. The top of the window can be seen above what became the chancel arch when the chancel, now missing, and sacristy were later added. The sloping roof, made of stacked stones, is supported internally by a semicircular vault. Access to the garret or croft was through a rectangular opening at the west end of the vault. The church also had a wooden first floor. The bell tower, with its conical cap and for small windows, rises from the west end of the stone roof in the form of a miniature round tower. It is commonly known as St. Kevin's Kitchen due to the clock tower resembling a kitchen fireplace. However, no food was cooked here. Thank you for watching. Please remember to subscribe to our channel, Love Ireland. And don't forget to hit the bell notification.